I see it. The debris migrated into the lower lobe. It's deeply embedded, but it's proximal. The field's clear, forceps. It would be safer to navigate around the excision areas going from the side. That could add hours to the procedure. We don't have time. The patient's vitals are holding steady. Meanwhile, Robin could be bleeding to death from a gunshot wound. Patrick, right now you have a responsibility to this patient. You owe him every chance at a good recovery. I don't know Mr. Alcazar anything. I already saved his life. The only reason I agreed to do this procedure is because he's got information that could get Robin out of that hotel and save her life. Alcazar is your patient. Forget your personal issues. Do the damn job. My job is to remove this shrapnel. The way I choose to do it is up to me. Lorenzo's been unconscious for hours. There's no way he could have been involved in a hostage-taking situation. Well, if those men aren't working for Alcazar, they're there because of what Alcazar has in that vault. Mark, I don't know what you're talking about. Lots of people keep lots of things in hotel vaults. You're Only right? one is an arms dealer. And why would Alcazar put something in a hotel vault? He's got arms guards patrolling that fortress he calls a home, unless maybe... Maybe he was trying to protect you and Lila Ray. Then he must have realized that this could happen. Did you? Did you try? How could you? How could you send the man you think of as your father over that metro court knowing his life could be in danger? I am not hanging your sister's life by police procedure. Dad, I want Lulu as safe as you do, but charging in there will only make things worse. We passed worse about a half hour ago. If you go rushing in there, it could be a Lulu shot, just like Robin. So could Elizabeth and Nicholas. These guys are desperate, Dad. They got nothing to lose. We do. Listen, the cops are going to do this by the book, okay? They're going to try to negotiate to get the hostages released. When that doesn't work, they're going to send a tactical team in, and they're going to hope the Craig's going to panic and abandon the hostages. It's not going to happen. It won't. Well, dude, you got, you got to warn the cops. Oh, come on, man. I know you have an allergic reaction to law enforcement, but there are lives at stake here. Matt, where are we at with the hostages? Robin's been shot. No word on the others. How are you holding up? I don't know if I can do this. If I say or do something, and they she doesn't okay, make it out. Okay, Mike, don't worry about it. I'll take it from here. We have a dedicated line. There's a lot of lives at stake. Don't screw it up. I imagine you're thinking about the detonator. Which one of us has it? Are we going to trigger it? After all, 60 seconds isn't that long. Now, will we make it out on time? I can assure you that our exit strategy is very well planned. We'll be leaving, you'll be staying. The only question is if any of you will be in one piece. You, Michael Corinthos, Jr. No doubt you're conversant in the subject of explosives. I didn't go to high school, so I don't know what conversant means. Take a guess. Okay. You got enough plastic here taped to the walls to below this lobby, sky high. Well, depending on its structural integrity, the explosion might take the whole building down. <laughs> I have to admit that it's tempting to see what will happen. Oh, well, yeah. we'll just have to wait for that later. I know his voice. Can you place it? No, not without seeing his face. No, no, don't even think about it. Don't you want to know who he is and why the hell he's doing this? We know why he wants the briefcase to have a And after he gets it, he's going to blow the entire lobby. We got 12 You're hours. Sit here? We got 12 hours before the vault opens. That gives us enough time to figure out a way to get out of here without you having to rip that mask off his face. We don't want to shake his confidence. Let him think he's in control of the situation. That would be the hostage negotiator preparing to bargain for your lives. But I'd rather give you the opportunity to win them back. So we're going to play another little game, which I like to call uh, musical hostages. The rules are very simple. I pay you off periodically, and at the end of each round, the one without a partner loses. Simple. What happens when there's an even number of people? That's an excellent question. You get 20 points. I guess I'm going to have to find someone to get rid of. Hmm. I think I'll start with you, 